This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Chromebook 15 C910 with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Chromebook 15 C910. Before we get started with the, with the video, a uh, couple, couple remarks about uh, this laptop. This laptop comes in two versions, the full HD version and the standard HD version for the screen resolution. The one that we have here today is the full HD version, but the procedure is exactly the same for the standard definition version. And as far as I know, the screens are interchangeable. You can put a standard HD screen in a full HD laptop and vice versa. Okay. Um, before we take the laptop apart, we need to make sure that the power is off. This does not have a removable battery, so the only way to turn power off is the power button. And the power button is right here. So if the laptop accidentally turns on during the procedure, it's on before. Just do a long press of the power button or do a software shutdown of the laptop before you get started. Also, when you open and close the laptop, it turns on automatically. So when that happens, you need to do a long press of the power button. And where to find the model number? If there's a sticker on the palm rest, it'll say C910, and it will say either say Full HD or Standard Definition. And also, let's close it and look on the back. On the back, there's a label that says C910 C37P. That's where you can find the model number. When I open up the laptop again, it's going to turn on. And what you want to do is do a long press. Do a long press of the power button and it turns off before we get started. Okay, let's look at the tools we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed end and that's to lift up adhesive tape and use as a prying tool if necessary. And a pair of metal tweezers and that's to manipulate cables or also lift up adhesive tape or a prying tool. Okay, the first step is to remove this screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And there's no screws securing it to the screen assembly so we can snap it right off. To snap off the screen bezel, put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and pull up and out and listen for snapping sounds. And in this way, go around the bezel. For in this case, it's a little bit easier than it should be. So, but not too bad. So go around the bezel like this and snap the bezel off and that's it. Next step is to remove the screen from the screen assembly. It's secured by two screws, two at the top, or four screws, two at the top and two at the bottom. For the top, make sure you remove the inner screws and not the outer screws and on the bottom, Make sure you remove the screws for the screen tap mounting tabs instead of the screen screws for the hinge, hinge assembly. So remove this screw, but not these screws. So let's get started. When you do this, make sure that the laptop is tilted back a little bit. And remove the screws one by one and keep them in a separate pile where you don't lose them. So that's two, three, and four. Once we remove the screws, you grab the screen by the mounting tabs, the metal mounting tabs, and gently lay the screen down, making sure not to engage the power button. Next step is to remove the connector from the back of the screen and it's secured by some adhesive tape. To do this, you use the hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape and use your fingertips to gently remove the adhesive tape until the connector is exposed. Once the connector is exposed, you grab the connector by the back 
and slide the connector out like so. I'm going to slide it back in to show you how to engage the connector again. When you put the connector back in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's remove the connector again and take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch Full HD EDP slim screen. So um, basically what you need to know is the model number. number model number is LP156WF4SPL1. Uh, you just need to know this part. LP156WF4. And the connector if you count the pins on the connector, it should be a 30 pin connector. Some of the older screens look almost identical to this, but they have a 40 pin connector. The other thing to note on this, this screen has a matte finish. So some of the screens come interchangeably in matte or glossy finish, and that's a matter of personal preference. But if you specifically want one over the other, you gotta specify it when you're ordering. As I said before, this is a full HD screen and I have a standard HD screen here. The resolution is lower. It looks identical to the full HD screen and they are interchangeable except you will get lower resolution. The part number that I have for the standard HD screen is LTN, LTN 156AT37. Okay, and um, also once you get your um, screen in, the part number won't might be different, won't be exactly the same, but the screen will look will look exactly the same. So you need to specify if you want a standard HD screen or a full HD screen, and make sure that the connector looks is the same width and the screen looks exactly the same. Okay, you can order this screen from us, both versions, the full HD and the standard HD. From us from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is the toolkit that I used in this video. It comes included with the screen. We have our two-year warranty and free email technical support and we ship for free using priority mail in the United States. So once you order you'll get your screen in two or three days. Also these laptops are commonly used by school districts around the country and we sell screens to school districts using purchase orders. So if you are a school district and need to f have replacement screens, we do have bulk we do have bulk discounts and we take purchase orders. So uh, contact us on our website uh, www.screensurgeons.com and there will be a separate link for school districts. Okay, uh, if you would like to order the screen, if you're just an individual user, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out that will guide you to find buy the right screen and buy it online. Uh, we uh, can also ship to most countries around the world. So if you're outside of the United States, uh, just go through the normal checkout procedure and select your country when you get to that point. Once you get your new screen in, connect the connector as I showed you. Mount the screen in the mount saying in the screen assembly and put two screws back in at the top and two screws in at the bottom and snap the screen bezel back on and that should be it and that you'll be done. Okay, uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.